أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد As you remember we were talking about some important points in Islamic mysticism and the last term that we mentioned yesterday that we were supposed to explain that term was the term al-hikmah or wisdom about wisdom there are many verses of the Holy Quran and many Islamic narrations but just uh, some sort of summary of what we have first of all this important verse of the Holy Quran يُؤْتَلْ حِكْمَةَ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَمَنْ يُؤْتَلْ حِكْمَةَ فَقَدْ أُوْتِيَ خَيْرًا كَثِيرًا وَمَا يَذَّكَّرُ إِلَّا أُولُوا الْأَلْبَابِ he gives wisdom to whomever, who, whomever he wishes and he who is given wisdom is certainly given an abundant good. So according to this verse of the Holy Quran, wisdom is a very important blessing of God. In another verse of the Holy Quran, ذَلِكَ مَمَّا أَوْحَى إِلَيْكَ رَبُّكَ مِنَ الْحِكْمَةِ وَلَا تَجْعَلْ مَا اللَّهِ إِلَهًا آخَرٍ فَتُلْقَى فِي جَهَنَّمَ مَلُومًا مَدْحُورًا After some sort of recommendations and advice in the Holy Quran, God says, ذَلِكَ مَمَّا أَوْحَى إِلَيْكَ رَبُّكَ مِنَ الْحِكْمَةِ These are among uh, precepts that your Lord has revealed to you of wisdom. Immediately after mentioning the word wisdom, God says, وَلَا تَجْعَلْ مَعَ اللَّهِ إِلَهًا آخَرٍ فَتُلْغَى فِي جَهَنَّمَ مَلُومًا مَدْحُورًا Do not set up another God beside God or you will be cast into hell. Blameworthy, banished. The relationship between the second part of the verse with the previous part of the verse indicates uh, the close relationship between uh, Tawheed or oneness of God and wi wi wisdom. The relationship with Al-Ma'rifa that we explained yesterday, which was, which was ultimate uh, sort of knowledge, with wisdom, which is going to be explained uh, later. So as a result, uh, the one who has this sort of knowledge is not going to set up uh, any partner for God. The same person who has wisdom has the ultimate goal of uh, Islamic mysticism, which is al-ma'rifah. In an Islamic narration from Imam Baqir, and some of our exegetes have mentioned after this verse of the Holy Quran, uh, he says al-hikmah in this verse means al-ma'rifah. Okay? So right now we have, we have some sort of idea about the knowledge that uh, we mean in Islamic mysticism. First of all, uh, about wisdom, we should know what's the meaning of wisdom literally, and then what's the meaning of wisdom as an expression, as a term. Uh, Literally, wisdom means certain and firm sort of knowledge. When you have that sort of knowledge that there is no doubt in it, 
you're certain in your knowledge, it is called wisdom. This is a literal meaning of wisdom. Uh, let me explain right now uh, wisdom as an expression. Later, uh, I will explain how can be achieved this wisdom. As an expression, look, after uh, revelation of the Holy Quran, there is dispute, some sort of controversy about uh, this word among Islamic scholars. What's the meaning of wisdom? It's interesting to know uh, when you study the works of our Islamic scholars, each and every of them wants to claim that wisdom is the knowledge and science that I have. For example, Muslim philosophers claim that wisdom means philosophy. Gnostics or Urafa, Islamic mystics, claim that uh, Wisdom is a hirfan. And other scholars uh, claimed that they possess this knowledge, al hikmah because the high position of this knowledge in Islamic teachings. So, as a result, I have mentioned over here. Uh, those sciences that considered uh, as hikmah in Islamic teachings. First of all, practical irfan. As you remember, we explained theoretical and practical irfan. And second part of irfan, which is practical, which uh, is going to explain uh, the way of uh, wafer in order to achieve divine proximity, closeness to God. How should we act in order to achieve uh, proximity to God? It was the knowledge or the science of practical Irfan. This is uh, the first uh, meaning of wisdom as an expression. The second one uh, wisdom or al-hikmah, as they said, is divine philosophy. Philosophy which talks about metaphysics, about God and his attributes, his manifestations, uh, the relationship between God and the rest of the world and universe. Anything that has some sort of relationship with God, uh, could be called as divine philosophy. The third meaning of wisdom is practical philosophy, which is manifestation of philosophy in practice, in life. These are uh, three of uh, meanings of uh, wisdom as a term. In Islamic ethics, Wisdom has two separate meanings. First of all, trait of the soul related to the use of reason. So this is some sort of attribute, some sort of epithet for soul. Uh, when it comes to the uh, benefit of reason to the soul, so when our soul is going to take benefit of reason in his actions and behaviors, in his uh, manifestations, is going to be called uh, wisdom in the science of akhlaq or ethics. This is the 